Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today we are going over 2019.40.50.1, the new software update that we got for both of our Model 3s. Now, if we jump into the red one, okay, it's locked, into the Tesla app because it was on my white car, hit the unlock button, and now it should be unlocked. In a future software update, this probably won't be an issue because they are going to add the option to disable auto lock when you're at your home, similar to sentry mode being disabled when you're at the house. The first thing we see is driving visualization improvements. And then we go into voice commands. So we have new voice commands. Then we have phone improvements. So a lot of new stuff here. Now we have camping mode, which is, I guess, similar to dog mode. Tesla Theater now has Twitch available. Stardew Valley, a new game, along with Backgammon, another new game. So a lot of new stuff here, and we're gonna go into detail of all of this. You now have a microphone option on the keyboard, which is nice. Software called Tracks, where you can build audio tracks. You can save dash cam clips every time you honk in the car, and also driver profiles now save information along with new language support. So that was a hardware 3.0, our red Model 3. Now let's jump into a hardware 2.5 and we'll see what the difference is. So right off the bat, we see that our 3.0 computer got driving visualization improvements, whereas the 2.5 car, the white Model 3, did not get that. So the visualization improvements now shows stop signs, and it also shows stop lights, which I did a lot of testing in our red Model 3, which is the hardware 3.0, which is the only cars that got this, and it was amazingly accurate. Not only counting the number of stoplights, but also rendering the color on the touchscreens. Take a look at this example here. You can see that the traffic light is red, but then as soon as it turns to green, the screen almost instantly turns to green as well. So I think the feature complete full self-driving is going to come really soon. So the rest of the release notes for the white Model 3 are exactly identical to the hardware 3.0 red model three. So now let's jump in and we're gonna go over all these new features. So if we go to safety and security, we can scroll down and enable the dash cam to save clips on honk. Every time you honk the horn, it will be in the save folder in your dash cam. Now camping mode and also dog mode has been moved over to the right side here, like you see once you click on the climate. So we can still enable all of them, but now we have the new option for camping mode, which is nice. So it'll keep on the climate as long as you maintain that 20% battery throughout the entire night. Now let's jump into the track. So if we go to the toy box, and we click on the tracks here, which I'm not even sure if I'm saying it correctly. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm not. This software is similar to Apple's GarageBand where you can kind of build audio tracks and record audio tracks. Pretty cool and definitely get to use the multi-touch feature on this touchscreen. Don't see myself using this too much. Now let's jump into the game. So we got two new games here, Backgammon and Stardew Valley. I've never played Backgammon before and I don't know how, but it looks like you can play with the driver and the passenger or you can play against the computer or the Tesla, how it says there. And we also have Stardew Valley. From what I can tell, you are a character and you're trying to maintain and build a farm. So I'll probably go live similar to what I did with some other games. If that's something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're alerted when I do go live. Yet another new item is coming to the Tesla theater and that is Twitch and I've, I haven't really used Twitch much, but I would say that this looks really good and really well refined. And I was able to very quickly jump into somebody's live stream of them playing Call of Duty, which was pretty awesome. So I'm sure those of you that enjoy Twitch will now enjoy Twitch in your Tesla. Show me the rear camera. We have a lot more options now as far as voice commands go. Like here, I show you, you can turn on the rear camera and you can also open the glove box. Open the glove box. Definitely a useful feature so you don't have to click through multiple menus on the touchscreen. You can simply use your voice and locate what you're trying to find, which is a really nice option for those who are newer to Tesla and are unfamiliar with all the settings and submenus. Turn on the heated steering wheel. Something to keep in mind is that all these options are shared between all models. So even though it says heated steering wheel enabled, the Model 3 does not, as far as I know, have a heated steering wheel. And after initiating this voice command, the steering wheel did not get hot.
So if you click into the call or the phone app, you can see we have favorites, recents, contacts, and dialer, which is a nice added feature. The favorites is new. We can also see messages, but first you need to click on the Bluetooth icon in the top right-hand side of the touch display, and then go into your phone and turn on show notifications. After turning notifications on, then you tap reconnect, and you will see messages pop up under the call icon and your phone will be able to send and receive text messages along with get other notifications. You can also have a chime turned on so the Tesla will chime every time you get a new message. And lastly, I wanna show you the new microphone on the keyboard. It's right here at the bottom and you can just tap it and instead of typing in Empire State Building, you can just say it. Really nice safety feature, I'm glad they added this option. So you might be wondering why it took me so long to get this software update now that this software update has been out for about a week. And that's because both of the Model 3s, the red and the white Model 3s, were out of my hands for several days. Now our brand new red Model 3 with about 200 miles on it was getting the full front wrapped along with a ceramic coating on all the painted surfaces on the entire vehicle. I got a lot of footage from that install by Detail Authority, so I'm going to do a future video on that entire install process. Now my car, the white Model 3, was actually in for service because of a speaker issue and they were able to remote diagnose it and found out that one of the amps had gone bad. And now I do like that they added a couple different options in the app. You can tell that it's in for service and it tells you when it's gonna be complete and ready for pickup. Although I didn't get a loaner Tesla from the service center, the Uber credits that were issued were just fine because they only had the car for a couple of days. I wanna give a big thank you to all of you that are supporting me over on Patreon. You can show your support for as little as a dollar a month and for $4 a month, you get YouTube early access. For the all electric tier, you get early access and you get a shout out at the end of all of my videos. The all electric supporters I have right now are Graham Matul and Nicola Pro. Thank you guys so much and thank you so much to all of my other patrons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing and make sure you share this video with a friend. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so uh, I'm steps away from the seat is what I tell him. And then he says, I'm always in for two o'clock, never earlier. And then he's like, do we have a fourth? Because threes are pretty not great. I prefer to wait until a fourth becomes available.